is the most beautiful woman in history? Helen of Troy? Cleopatra? Or an obscure melt maid from 19th century Sweden? My name's Eli, welcome to my channel, and this is Weird Women of History. In the summer of 1833, Pope Karen Erst's daughter arrived in Stockholm looking for work. Being told that she was too petite and not strong enough to work as a rower woman, she was turned away. Instead, she found work south of the city as a milk maid. This job included taking carriages of milk, driving them to the town center, setting up shop, and staying there all day and selling her milk. While she was there, rumors of her beauty started to spread amongst the wealthy elite who lived in the neighborhood. This drew such large crowds that she was even arrested at the time for causing a traffic violation. Of course, she was released almost immediately. After that, publicity went crazy, media outlets at the time, newspapers. As she became more infamous throughout Sweden, she ended up getting offers from the wealthy and the royal family to come attend balls, parties, galas, and just make an appearance for being pretty. And so, Hell yeah, of course she took that up. She went from party to party, got paid, earned all sorts of contacts and influence, and when she returned home at the end of summer to her small little rural community, nobody believed her. They just straight up didn't think she was pretty enough to have caused such a media sensation. And despite having the articles and certificates signed by governesses and dukes and duchesses and all that stuff, nobody believed her. They thought she probably earned the money actually by being a prostitute, and so she was shamed. And when she was able to prove, no, this actually happened to me, I'm considered the most beautiful one in the world, they said that she shouldn't have put herself on display like that. She shouldn't have made a fool of herself by going to parties and being in the presence of such wealthy people. Nobody really knows what happened to poor Pilt Karen Erstauder. Uh, according to some stories, she married a well-to-do man, and they lived happily ever after. Nobody knows where she's buried, nobody knows what happened to her, and she just sort of faded back into the pages of history after causing a summer of international media coverage. Which, in honesty, is kind of sad. I've read lots of articles talking about how women being famous for simply being beautiful is wrong and how we shouldn't be memorializing these women for only being beautiful. However, I think that's also ignorant in the sense that we're ignoring these women's stories. We're ignoring the fact that, despite the fact that they were considered the most beautiful women of their time, they didn't have happy lives. All they got was trouble from it. And that's really sad. And I think that she should be memorialized through statues and the art that exists, because she shows what it really was like to be the most beautiful woman of the era. And in 1833, there was no place to go. You couldn't go up in society being born as a rural farm girl, even if you were beautiful. You couldn't make money beyond working as a milkmaid or rowing boats and typical hard labor jobs for women at the era. And if you did step out of place and you earned money for a natural talent, and beauty isn't necessarily a talent. It's just something that some people have and some people don't. But you know what? Because she had it, she ended up making bank off of it, and everybody was ashamed of it. And I don't think she should have been. I think she should have been allowed to live her life and allowed to make money from it and allowed to be remembered. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm new here on the YouTube platform, and this series of Weird Women of History is sort of a passion project of mine, and if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any ideas or know of any Weird Women of History, let me know in the comments down below. I am psyched to know about different historical women and even historical men that usually you just don't hear about, especially in the U.S. 
So, yeah, let me know what you think. See you next time.